Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is April the 30th and today I've decided I would kick off my first birthday giveaway. The month of May is my birthday as well as things. We both celebrate our birthday very close together and I have planned to do a few random giveaways during the month of May. May. <laughs> For my loyal subscribers sorry i am suffering a bit of brain fog today i have no idea why so what is this one about well let's get started most of you who've been with me for a while will know that i am a eurovision song contest tragic i love it i love watching it it's entertaining i can't wait for it when it's on it's just i don't know I really enjoy it. And if you did the Rock 2022 make along with me last year, you would know this. Now, if you don't know what Eurovision is, there will be a link in the description below to one of the song contests for you to check out so you know what I'm talking about. Well, last year Eurovision was won by Ukraine and England came second. But because of all the turmoil and trouble in Ukraine, England will be hosting Eurovision for Ukraine. And we will be walking with Ukraine. So, I am going to support an amazing sock make-along that I discovered this week watching videos and people I'm subscribed to. It's a collaboration by Jeanette at Crafty Click Creations, Karen at Stitches and Jacks and Alex at My Yarny Corner. These three ladies came up with Walk With Ukraine Sock Make-along. Now there is a special hashtag, so make sure you check that out in the description below and hopefully I'll put it on somewhere in the video. It will start on the 9th of May. It won't finish when Eurovision finishes. It will finish on the 31st of May. But the beauty is you don't have to have your stop socks fitted. You just need to have them fit a foot and take a photo of it on your foot I guess and post it on Instagram. Now make sure you check the links out for these three ladies channels. Crafty Craig Creations, Stitches and Jacks and Alex at My Yarny Corner. So you know all the rules. I'm just glossing over all their rules. They will have a random prize draw at the end for participants and it should be a lot of fun. Now most of you will know I'm not a sock knitter. I've made two pairs of basic socks. The second pair was an improvement. So maybe I'll have a go at a third pair. I don't know if I'll do a Ukraine designer because when I looked at Alex's knitting pattern list, they looked a little complicated for me. So here goes. How can we support them? Well, we can support Ukraine designers by buying their sock patterns. Now, Alex, as I said, put together a list of different Ukraine sock knitting patterns and I'll put a, um, a link to that in the description below. There'll be a lot for you to check out. What they'd like you to do is shop your stash and use some of the Ukraine colours, if not all. So the Ukraine flag has blue, yellow and white. You can use other colours and I shop my stash and these will be my colours. Now, this is the only sock weight yellow I have. Yellow is not a colour I buy, so it's very limited in my yarn stock. It is a Uruguay 10 gram mini from a set that I bought from Morrison's Son on my trip to Victoria. This is Peyton's Pantaline Merino Ombre in this blue. I bought this for another project I haven't started. And I can get more, so I'm going to use this. What do you think? I think that's pretty much Ukraine. The ombre brings in a bit of white. So there you go. Yes, I'm going to try and knit another pair of socks. I doubt they'll be finished by the 31st of April, but hey, I'm going to have some fun and walk with Ukraine. So how do can I encourage you to participate? Well, my first giveaway will be two $10 pattern prizes, one for a sock knitter and one for a sock crocheter. It'll probably be run on Ravelry, 
Um, I hope that's okay. It's probably easier for me, but hopefully if the winners don't use Ravelry, we can work something out. So, one Ukraine designer knitting sock pattern to the value of $10. One Ukraine designer crochet sock pattern to the value of $10. It's open worldwide. It starts today. It's going to be very brief. I'm going to draw it on the 6th of May. Eastern Standard Time Australia, which happens to be my birthday. It also gives you time to get ready for the make along, which starts on the 9th of May with Eurovision. So I hope you jump on board and participate because I'd really like to knock your socks off that bucket list. Um, the pattern, what I will do for the winners is I'll announce the winners and then you'll have to contact me and I will send you a link to a couple of patterns by Ukraine designers you can pick from. To be honest, I've only found one Ukraine designer who does crochet sock patterns and she has three designs. Um, if you know of anyone else, please let me know in the comments below. So, what do you need to do to enter? You need to leave a comment below this video. You need to put, I am a sock knitter, I am a sock crocheter. Even if it will be your first pair of socks that you plan to make, that's the comment I need. I am a sock knitter or a sock crocheter because I will use the YouTube random comment picker to select my winners. A $10 pattern prize. It's just a little giveaway, but a great way to support this great make along. These ladies have shown so much empathy and compassion and caring it blew me away and I'd really like to support their make along with some of my subscribers jumping on board and joining in walking with Ukraine. Now remember to check out the Eurovision um, link if you don't know what the song contest is about. Don't forget to check out these three ladies YouTube channels and show them some support and um, let's hope we get some sock knitters from all over the world making or sock crocheters making socks and walking with Ukraine. That's it. it. That's my first giveaway for the month of May. I think I have a blessed life. I have sunshine, beautiful weather, food on the table, no one scaring me with bombs. And I think this is just truly an amazing idea. Guys, I hope you join the giveaway and try and win a sock pattern because let's face it, times are tough. And it's easy if you have yarn, yarn in your stash, but sometimes even buying a pattern can um, stretch the budget a little far. So please jump on board and knock your socks off and walk with Ukraine. Make sure you use the right hashtag when you post your pictures. You are welcome to post your pictures in my Facebook group page if you are part of my Facebook group. I love to see your socks when you make them. I'm not sure you'll want to see mine. They're okay, but compared to Alex and some of the other ladies, wow, they are talented sock makers. Okay, my first giveaway for my birthday in May. Have some fun, take care, and let's knock our socks off. Bye for now.